Good morning, Dave Snyder here. It is the 12th day of April 2015. I got some really uh, interesting information here for you. I know it's hard to believe, but it's just right there in front of our face. Every weather pattern over the Earth, every single weather pattern over the Earth shows us some the lunar south, the lunar uh, surface, basically. I mean, there's, there's no no way around it. it. Either you look into it and you and you learn it. Or you're just not in the right place at all. You're just in the totally guessing at everything because this is the, this is it right here. The, the shows the size of the moon and everything. Check it out. Save this pattern last night. See the big circular pattern right there in the Gulf of Alaska. See that right there? That's that's the one I've been showing in the black hole all all this time. I've been showing this one, and uh, you can see it right there, the big circular pattern. But there's also another one right here. See this one here? So I lined up both actually. This is the first overlay I did of the, this uh, circular pattern over the black hole. Let me bring up the black hole. I, ca I call it the black hole. It's really a weather pattern that's uh, that was in the Atlantic Ocean one day. And this is where everything comes from. All the continents will fit in there. See the hole? The matching pattern up above here. This dips down. It's got like it looks like a pair of lips almost. <laughs> See that? But check it out with this with this other picture. Okay, so you got that that fits in that circular pattern. You can see that's it is the same same pattern. So you look at this picture of the uh, this weather pattern over the, this area of the moon. And actually, I didn't even bring this up this one up yet. But here you go. This is it's, just look at it. Look at the whole pattern <clears throat> is right there on the Earth in that weather. That whole circular pattern. See how it's like a donut. It's got the circle in the center got a ring around the outside it is absolutely that print right there now it also shows that it's moved because now I'm going to show you the next one that goes with it this other area right here is is the same from the same thing see that from the same thing I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is the same pattern. This part right here is a reversed image of the lunar surface. It is a reversed image. I mean, it. it I got another piece of proof to show you here too. I mean, it's just it never ends. Really, it never ends. So, what was the other one? Okay, so Alaska. I brought up Alaska the other, or the other day I brought up this image of the Alaska earthquake that was happening. I don't know, 2000. 12 or 13 or something and that's uh, right here this picture I showed this the other day in a video and I what I did is I brought up I brought up some older images to look at look at with this picture let me turn this uh, other picture off I brought up some older images that were already set in place and I brought up this one called uh, bird head and you remember this one probably. Where is it at? I'm maybe a little higher. Nope, lower. Oh, right here. Bird head. There we go. Correct bird head. Okay, so this one right here, I brought up this picture first. Correct bird head. This is a <coughs> picture of this pattern right here. And I can see this same pattern right here. I mean, you can see the same pattern. This is a reverse image of the moon. And I, this is called uh, st Stevius or something like that, the crater right there. And it's it's absolutely in that picture. You can see this whole area right here. Check it out. Look at that. It is the same thing, people. I mean, I really I really wish people would start looking into this and getting a, getting a clue. Because check it out. Then I brought up the other picture I have of this crater. It's a little different. It's from it's an older image, a little clearer. And what I noticed is uh is this. Come on now. What I noticed was this this pattern right here fell right over Alaska right there. You see that area of Alaska right here where those mountains are? Actually, probably British Columbia more or less. See how it fits in there? See the curve right there? It's, it anyways I brought up a picture of Alaska without the weather and uh, put it with this 
and I could totally see it. Total, and I know it's big because it's, I moved it to the equator, so it's going to be a little bit bigger. But that goes right in there. You can actually see the Gulf of Alaska right here. The straight line that goes all the way down to these mountains right here. Look. Right there, this big circular pattern right there, the perfect circle eye right there is right in here. And you, it, you just know how the gold got there now. I mean, that's just shows that. And then uh, another thing was when you look at this picture with this picture of the wet with the weather turn off this Alaska one when you look at the, look at it like that I gotta bring this to the top don't I you see this little spot right here that little curve up and then it's got that spot right there look that just fell into place on its own I didn't even notice that till yesterday and I did this a few days ago did you see that right there that's the same exact thing this is a reversed image of the moon. That's the same exact thing right there. That little spot right there is the same exact thing you see in the, in the weather right there. For it to just fall into place that way, it's not coincidence. This stuff was all, this bird head one was already in place a long time ago, and I didn't adjust it to fit this or anything like that. It just goes there. See that? That just fell into place on its own. So I was lining up the rest of it, and that just, when I turned it back on, and that just being there, it just shows. I mean, it really does. People need to really wake up to this, because it's, the, I mean, I, I wouldn't keep doing this if it wasn't paying off every day. It pays off every day. You can take that picture of the, of the moon and go right up here, and it'll fit right here in, in Alaska and British Columbia, right there. So they got this big blob in the Pacific now, and, and here we are looking at this weather I just showed you this weather yeah it shows it a little high right there I turn that one off actually okay so I showed you this this circular pattern before and I showed this is all look at how perfect this one is with Mer Oriental I mean it is just beautiful I should bring up the lunar south pole as well. Just take a look, because I haven't done that yet. But there's that sort. Of, there's there's the center of Mare Oriental right there. And then just bring up the lunar south pole and see what it looks like. Look at that shape right there. See that that football shape right there. They're all related. They all go together somehow. But this picture of Mare Oriental just takes the cake. I mean, it's it is so there, so in front of our face that, especially the first image that I brought up of Alaska, this one here, this one here, you can totally see Mare Oriental, the whole thing. The whole outline, look at that cloud, how it fits right in the lines, watch. See how it curves up right here? How, how that curves up? Look at the look at the weather pattern. Curves up right there. It's the same thing. So that big hole in the weather could be coming from the Gulf of Alaska, where that where they say that the temp that big blob is. This could be the reason why the big blob is there. It may not be radiation from Fukushima. It may not be help. I'm sure that doesn't help, but this is what it's from. That heat is from something. Vol There's volcanoes underneath the ocean near in the Gulf of Alaska. That's why they have earthquakes up there, and that's why they have volcanoes in the Aleutian Islands. I mean, there's volcanoes in Alaska. It's a hot spot. So you got this uh, circular pattern right up here in the Gulf of Alaska, and there's patterns in the Gulf of Alaska nearly every day that will show what this is today. This is right now. So, oh no, it's not set to uh, yesterday or something. It's 8 a.m. It's later than that, right? 9.30? 9 o'clock? 10 o'clock, something like that. I got this set to yesterday, so how do I t shut this off, I wonder? Oh, like this.
Okay, so now here, this pattern every day will fit in that same lunar print every day. This this weather pattern up here will fit both those areas that, that I showed the Mare Oriental pattern and that uh, Steve, Stevus or Stevus or whatever Stevenus pattern. It will show that every day in this weather. And it'll confirm itself every day in this weather, one way or another. Just overlay it over the top of that mirror oriental picture. This pattern will fit. This is a special place on the Earth where the weather shows the lunar surface nearly every day. Flip this pic, flip a picture of the moon over, and overlay that weather pattern over the moon, and you will see that this pattern is shaped by the moon completely every day. And it'll also fit down here where I've been building it. So I mean, it goes. It, I do. I believe a lot of stuff happens right here. That's you know the number seven, the whole thing with the number seven in the, in the Bible and all that stuff and all the ancient, you know, myth mythology and all that. The number seven I think comes from here. That's where the number seven I think comes from. That they talk about all the time. But anyways, just want to show you that with the Alaska thing. There's something going on in that in the Pacific that's it has nothing necessarily to do with radiation. I, I don't believe that that has everything to do with radiation because that that spots in the Atlantic too. You can see that I saved it over the Atlantic. Right, look at this right here. Oh, it's over here. Okay. Well, right in here I saved that picture of that uh, circle right here one time. So it it's there too. Hmm, that's interesting. Right there. Those are interesting. Look at this. Watch. I'm going to take that picture right there right now. I know right where it goes. This picture. Now that will go with the lunar south pole and it's also going to go with this other picture. Watch. Oh man, it's just a perfect picture. I can see it already. Mojo. Okay, so just use the same picture, basically, right there. You know, you already, you can already see it. You see what I'm talking about? The center of that picture. Look at the center of it. It's got that spot, right? And you see this little hump up right here. Watch. Every day. Every day. Mojo. Every day, people. You know, it's either you start looking into this and understanding what's going on with the Earth, or there's no point in even talking about it because you're, you're way off without this. No, no shit. I mean, I watch so many things that show that that's the truth. People are way off base when it comes to the Earth. Way off base. This is also the lunar south pole pattern here too, so let me show you this over the top of the black hole. Or with the black hole or whatever. Let me adjust it a little bit. Fit right in there. It's right in there. Very interesting. All right. Well, anyways, have a good day. I hope people people start checking this out because I feel like uh, there's so few people looking at this, and it's got. There's answers to the. It answers everything. It does really answer everything that's going on with the Earth. This is totally being. They totally try to hide it. Totally try to hide it. That circular pattern, look at how good it fits in that hole. Beautiful. Later.